This week on The Wire, buyers optimistic for 2022 purchases, 2022 rate rise not inevitable, says the RBA, and borrowers well placed to cope from NAB. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. We can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. And of course, kicking us off with our top story for this week, buyers optimistic for 2022 purchases. So rising prices have not put buyers off in 2022, but many are rethinking where they will buy. The Buyer Barometer, survey by Real Estate Buyers Agents Association and Property Talk Australia reveals home buyers and investors are optimistic. Now, Rebar President Kate Bakos says the study highlights the sheer resilience of the market. She says when it comes to a fear of missing out, buyers are evenly split with 48% afraid they'll miss the boat in 2022, but an optimistic 52% believing that they can still get a foot on the property ladder. Now the results show investors will be more dominant in 2022 with 49% planning to buy an investment compared with 43% last year. Now, Chris Dimitriopoulos says, a PTA, and that's from the PTA, says Australians feel safe and are willing to pay a bit more because they feel conditions aren't gonna change. Now many investors phasing out of Sydney and Melbourne. They're buying something interstate or regionally around $500,000 and renting it for $400 to $450 a week. And now guys, moving on to our next story. 2022 rate rise not inevitable, says the RBA. So despite the constant media speculation that interest rates are set to rise this year, it is not an inevitability in 2022. And that's according to the Reserve Bank a Governor, uh, sorry, the Deputy Reserve Bank Governor. The Deputy Governor, that's Guy De Bell, told a Senate hearing that while a rate rise is possible this year, people should not start to think it is inevitable, despite speculation building following strong inflation figures and a drop in the unemployment rate. Now De Bell's comments echo similar comments made last week by RBA Governor Philip Lowe. DeBell says, whether or not the official interest rate rises will depend on how a number of things evolve. Now the RBA and Treasury are predicting a 50 year low jobless rate of below 4% later this year. Now unemployment hit a 13 year low of 14.2% in December. And economists believe the next lot of jobs data will show that unemployment has dropped further despite the disruptions caused by COVID-19 Omicron variant to the economy. Now guys, moving on to our final story of the week. Borrowers well placed to cope, and that's from NAB. So National Australia Bank says variable mortgage rates may rise later this year, but their customers are mostly well positioned to cope. Now, speaking to the ABC's Closer Business Program, NAB Chief Executive Ross McEwen says his impression is that the Reserve Bank is in no rush to lift the official interest rate. Now McEwen says, however, many banks have already increased their interest rates on fixed rate mortgages. Now, McEwen told the Close of Business program that the cheapest interest rate that were on offer a year ago for fixed loans had already disappeared. But a review of NAB borrowers showed three quarters of them are well ahead on their home loan repayments. Now, he says most customers have a buffer in that they've been overpaying their mortgage for quite a while now. In fact, they've been paying more against their principal loan than they normally would. And in fact, uh, our own book shows, so that's uh, a NAB's book own shows that at least 70% of their customers are well in advance of their payments. And this is on top of the average borrower being almost four years ahead. Well guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.